Welcome to Wisdom Wednesday, my sweet friend. I'm proud of you for carving out just a few minutes to commit to yourself and growing your business. This week, I've pulled a juicy clip from one of my favorite episodes. I know you are going to love it. Are you ready? Here we go. Here's the thing. You will learn from so many people online as you grow in your business. And there are a lot of online marketing experts, but I'm going to encourage you to find your mentors and there likely will be just a few of them early on. Find your mentors early on, put a stake in the ground and say, this is somebody that I'm going to follow. So I want to give you an example of my own world, and then you make up your mind who your mentors are. So early on, you likely already know that my mentor was Marie Forleo before I even left my corporate job at Tony Robbins. So many of you know this story. I'll tell it quickly, but when I was still working at Tony Robbins, one of the very final programs I worked on was the new Money Masters. And Tony was creating a program to talk about how these online experts, we called them info marketers back then and sometimes still do, these info marketers were building their businesses online. And he started interviewing them for his brand new course. And back then, and I think they still do this, but it was CDs and (laughs) CDs and DVDs and all that good stuff. So he was building this course and we were interviewing tons of men for the new money masters, Russell Brunson, Dean Jackson, um, so many others. I won't even get into all the details, but there were no women. So luckily, we said, okay, we need to bring a woman into this program because there were women doing big things even back then 12 years ago. I know there's a lot more now, but there were definitely women doing big things back then online. And so I recommended Marie Forleo. And she was the only woman that was represented on the new Money Masters, which is pretty cool. And so from there, I became an instant fan of everything she was doing online because I studied her a lot for the product. And I realized she was somebody that I loved her integrity. I loved the way she communicated online. She had the type of business I wanted. She had grit and hustle and her energy was amazing. She had a great presence online. I wanted that. When I left Tony Robbins, that's what I wanted. And so she became my mentor. And I actually had a few mentors early on in the beginning. And that's the thing. I don't think you're just going to have one, but I'd say choose two or three and that's it. And what I mean by that is when you have a mentor and people start recommending this to you and that to you, and what about this? And you should do that. You should do that. You go back to your core group of mentors and you say, what would they recommend? What are they saying I do with this? So that you're not pulled in a million directions. You never need to make the excuse that I don't know what to do because so many people are telling me to do so many different things. And if you have your group of two or three core mentors, you can always go back and make your decisions based on their recommendations. And that has served me well. And so from there, I started to grow my business based on so much of what Marie taught. So she had a mastermind at the time that I couldn't afford, but I figured it out. And in that mastermind, she taught the B-School principles. And so I won't get into all the details here, but my point I want to make is that with B-School, I was able to build the foundation of my business and I had a mentor I could follow. And I feel as though if you're looking to invest money in the early years, you have to invest in training. If it's mine, I I love that. If I am your mentor or one of your top three mentors, if you like the way I do things, if you like my business model, if you like the way I teach, I am honored that I can be that for you. And I do believe that you should invest in the programs of your mentors. And this is not (laughs) to say, go buy my stuff. This is to say, if you find your mentor and you like what they're doing online, and if they can teach you how they do it, learn from the people that you want to build a business like, like you want to model your business around what they're doing. By all means, that is a good use of your money. Whether it be my programs or somebody else's, that is a good use of your funds. It is so important that you educate yourself because you didn't learn this in college, right? There's no handbook for how to do business online. 